Hey, Scott. Hey, I'm back. Hi, Scott. You, so you were off doing your recruiting as we were at the bazaar at Apricot and Lime. Oh my goodness, look who it is. Hey, Christine. Hey, Christine. Hello, 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 hello. Hi. So, so uh, yeah, so I uh, you were doing your recruiting job. Yes. And if no one's been here to the, the bazaar, vendors galore inside. So many crafts, uh, arts, just everything, everything. And cool stuff. Everything. Up and down the aisle. Including our guest, Scott, right? Yes. And we're. <laughs> We'll let you introduce yourself. Yes. Hi. Hi. I'm Karen Chandler. Hi, Karen Chandler. How are you guys doing? Good. 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 Thank you for stopping. I have a crush, I have a crush, crush on, on you, you too. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying. I've told my I wife know you've last known night. each other told, a while. I've actually told my wife last night, and she's like, well, she does good artwork, right? I'm like, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> exactly. She has nothing to worry about. <laughs> so. Thank you so much for being on here with us. Uh, we're trying some new technology here. Thanks to Kim. The, Kim, I don't sleep living good. I totally. Oh my God. I know. So we did, as you know, we did this little show yesterday, or the day before yesterday. Yes. Uh, the, the bizarre show. So she's like, you have to check out this app with the iPhone and the iPad. And it does it. This is how I do my thing. And we switch back and forth the cameras on the fly. And it's so amazing. now before, we were doing it all manually with the cameras. It took like a week to go ahead and like edit everything afterwards, and now it's just like happening right now. So now you so don't we're have all to very do, excited. Do you not, have to do much editing still? No, because right now it's 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 flipped. Like we just flipped the camera to you now. So now the cam now you're on camera right now, and now by touching this right now, now, now that camera we'll, is now, like now talking. It's now it's on I us. Love it. That had to be done manually after production with three cameras on every guest. I see. The past. I love so it. I love it's technology. Fantastic. But enough about us. Yes. We digress. Tell us about. Your wonderful self. My what? Your wonderful self. Like, <laughs> like the, the art you do, like, you are visually Sarasota. Like, that is I'm such concerned. an unbelievable compliment. That is, no, like, I mean, so huge that you say that and think that. I appreciate that. Yeah, 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 right up on there. And come up a little bit. Oh, but, a little but, bit more. But I want to move it so it's not You know what? The problem is I'm really face. short when oh, I sit okay. down. That's my problem. I get real short. Oh, no, you're good. good. You're good. You're good. Right there. Perfect. How's that? I've gotten really short, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, please. I mean, it's like your your style. I think it's because the style. Like it's one of the first things I saw coming to downtown. When I really started getting involved, and it's right there by Patrick's, the woman by Patrick's, and and, uh, and Madison's, and then you start to see the, the the doctor and the nurse by the bold, and then the other ones you were discussing, and then. T-shirts people I see wearing, just that style, of, and then by Bravaros, yes, you know that one, mm -hmm. and the, that the I did not know you. you did, but I saw it, and I was like, that's her, <laughs> like the style is so recognizable. Wow, right? that's so amazing. To me, it's like you're the artist, of Sarasota, but I'm sorry, wow. I digress. It's just such a compliment. You've made my day, <laughs> my month, my yeah. year. So, so for those who don't know, um, that I was here an artist here at the bazaar, and then you've done a lot of the murals in downtown. Yes. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So maybe explain it again. Mark knows them all, but I might not, or other people um, listening to this might not know which ones are yours and where they're located. Okay. So the first one is at um, Bavaro's restaurant, and it's Sophia Loren. Mm -hmm. They have like a like an outdoor patio area that has a covering on it, so it's kind of like an outdoor room, and so it's right in there. So when you sit outside, you just, and they have it beautifully lit. So that now, was the first was, one. Was that the first one? Like that was actually the first piece you did? Yeah, that was okay. the first mural. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Wow. That was even before the one on by Patrick's, right? Yeah. And then the next one was the Heroes mural, the Sarasota Heroes on 2nd Street. And that's the big 20 foot here. Uh, and that women. was before the Patrick's one too? Yeah, Patrick's one was wow. third. I'm all backwards on this. I really thought like that was the first. So those were all there. All that was there by the time I saw the one next to Patrick's, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. I'm yeah. sorry to interrupt you. I'm, no, no, yeah. no. Okay. And so the Sarasota Heroes, that was a project with Sarasota Magazine. It was their concept. Because Gigi, the woman that works at Sarasota Magazine. It's her sister, I believe, is a nurse. And during, when everything was going down in the very beginning, the nurses were just so exhausted. And she was talking to her sister and just realized it would be really great if they saw something that was uplifting. 
and made them realize that we all appreciate everything that they're doing. So that's kind of how it started. And then the um, Cultural Guild, the Arts Alliance, they called me, Jim Shirley, and that's when the whole thing started. But there was many people behind it, and the owner of the building, uh, Ronnie Sugar, he was uh, in very instrumental in it as well, and of course it's on his building. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of cool. And um, it was, it was, everybody came together to make it happen pretty quickly. So when we were on lockdown is when I started, and our lockdown was really only about a month long. And when I finished it is right when lockdown opened up. So people came out and all of a sudden there was these two 20 foot high murals there <laughs> with so, the theme. <laughs> so how do, you, how do you go about doing those? Like do you get scaffolding? We got do a you, scissor lift. And, and do you project, like do you project it first like at night and then I you did. the outline and I then did. you go back? And that was a whole production and a half because um, I got a, I had a projector and I didn't know if it was going to project 20 feet high. Uh -huh. So I was like, oh my God, is this gonna please, work? Please, and please, flick please, the please. switch yeah, and yeah. like it did. So that was, that was great. But there was a lot of ambient light around from the street lights. So we had to put a big plastic bag over one and that worked okay. But there was another light that was way too high. Uh -huh. So Jim, talked with the town and they turned the street light off <laughs> for like a night and then I went back out there and, and did the drawing out there so it was a team that really made that happen which was kind of cool so, and then, so what times did you do it like it was is it like literally midnight two o'clock three o'clock no morning, it didn't have to be that late it just had to be dark so okay. let me see we did it in the springtime so it was probably about nine at night somewhere around there okay. and the same thing with the one um by Madison's, there was a lot of light there, but I got that one done. Same thing, we did that one probably about nine, ten, mm -hmm. somewhere around there. Just needs to be dark. Do we, is there anything planned more? Like, is there anything that's coming up that you have coming on, or can you tell and, us? And, and, then, then and the art is just kill us, and then we have to wipe this entire being thing. A little, or, yeah, like, <laughs> a little newer, or, being a little newer to the era. Yeah. I mean, it's so awesome it, to it, see all the artwork and your work downtown and it's really it's cool for me and now i'm just learning about it so much you it's know whether really it's the beautiful. fairy doors i'm just learning about or if it's the murals it's just kind of cool stuff all over it's yeah. wonderful anything coming up that we should know about there's two things in the works but they're not they're not official yet so i can't say anything yet i'm hoping they will be both official by the end of the year okay can you tell us about where they might be without um, being specific <laughs> yeah, and, and sir, hey, I, be they're gonna be in Sarasota. <laughs> they're gonna be in Sarasota, be Sarasota. or and maybe be, not. She's just at Florida. She expanded that whole collection, right? Possibly so, Bradenton might be, uh, might be, oh. may, maybe, maybe. Bradenton yeah, actually is really kind of coming into their own, like with right? art, like the art district. They're starting that to get that Village yeah. of the Arts. Mm -hmm. my, my daughter lives up there, and, and even there, and I, I love the farmers market down here. But there's something to be said that um, they have a pretty large farmers market up there. I hear my friend is a big it's, player in that, so I'm sure it's amazing because she's amazing. Yeah. Andrea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, so possibly, possibly Bradenton uh, for something. Um, I'm, ex uh, I'm excited. So yeah. we, we talked again, we talked briefly uh, last, a couple weeks ago about yeah. commissioning something. So I, I talked to my wife about it, so we're kind of thinking about what we'd like to do. Mm -hmm. But we're totally on board with that. I'm so, so excited. Offline, I'd be, be so honored. That'd be great. I'd love to speak That's to you and your wife about what you would love. I mean, it's great also to be involved and, you know, having something that's really personal to you in every way, colors and and the subject and everything. I just think that's pretty neat. Yeah. No, and then the, the style is, like, I'm, I love the colorful, the pop artish type style. I, I tend to be more, like, black and white and subdued, like, tattoos or whatever, you know, like, more black and white and, like, contrast, things like that, but really? your art, for the most part, it just jumps out at and, me. And you the know style what? and the color, I love. Yeah, and, and for me and, you know, others, describe what you're doing, you know, describe what mural, I mean, your art, and also what you're doing here at the Bazaar, what kind of art you sell, and kind of promote yourself here as well. Oh, of course, because this is, this is really the only place that I am, so I, I, it's kind of fun. And I have um, t-shirts, and I print out my work and put it on woods, I call it wood, and then paint on it. So it's kind of one of a kind, but it's very affordable and smaller, so everybody can have 
a piece of the art if yeah. they want. And um, so we don't, we're not forced to have to go and try to chip away at the wall right next to the uh, <laughs> to take a piece of the art. That's right. That's and, right. And when you walk in the front, because I've tried, of, and it doesn't work. You, uh, that would when be you walk in front thing. here at the bazaar, she's the first, uh, first vendor on the left, first, vendor on first the left artist inside. on the left. I know. I've been here since day one, and I've been in that exact spot since day one. So Kim will have to pry me out of there. I'll be there forever. I love it here. It's really great. You you guys see, it's so unique here and different, don't you think? It's such a unique place that Kim has created here. It's Kim and cool. Judy. Yeah, I mean, it's very cool. And, you know, um, finding it not that long ago was neat. And talking to other people, and they're like, no, I don't know where that is. Well, it's yeah, a lot. apricot and lime. Yeah. But, but a lot of people don't know it's out here yet and i think it's starting to get more recognition i think it's starting to pick up they're doing more stuff on evenings yeah so i think kim's got it going you yeah know, it's really yeah. it's really a cool place too it's very and, cool. and i think as as the, the neighborhood develops as well mm -hmm. more people the traffic in, you know with the traffic and, and we do all we can but we just to have a, a full a stage here for a full band Yes. To have uh, alcoholic beverages. Yes. Which, you know, mm -hmm. uh, She's had full have, performances out there. Uh, air conditioned venues and a stage there inside. She is. To do things. Oh, here's and the here's the myth, the legend right here too. We were just talking about you, Ken. My ears are burning. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Right. She yeah. And then, well, we were so. here. You know, when I came here for the music, uh, Monkey Finger was here. Yeah. They, um, Sharon, the drummer, singer, was on the podcast. Um, it was last month. Right? And then you know, in the evening they were going to be playing, and I walked in here and it was just packed with people. Wow. Mm -hmm. It was so yeah. cool. That's so great. Yeah. And it's in, in Hamlet's, it speaks for itself. I mean, it's right. an award winning restaurant here. It's not mm -hmm. just a food truck. You know, so people come here just to eat in Hamlet's. That's and it's right. Just a, there's something for everybody here. Yeah. Like, you can do any kind of event or venue, or there is venue. any kind of event can be held here. Yes. And it's, and there's been you know, many other than different a couple kinds. of people, I guess, that like to complain about the noise, which we might be too noisy right now for them. <laughs> you know, it's so not where? that noisy. And like back there, like across the way, apparently there's oh really a person or two, okay. yeah. number one, okay. that actually complains a lot. That lives in the neighborhood. That, yeah, oh, really? apparently. Okay. Yeah. Oh, when you have music it. at night now, and yeah, kind of like the people downtown. Those Just three people, people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like the three people that live in the bar. Yeah, the three people <laughs> in downtown. It's, it's too loud at nine o'clock at night once a month, and they want it to that? be as quiet and as Mayaka. Yeah, Mark, like that. Mark has that chip on your shoulder oh, kind of no. thing. I would say. Get me started. Get me started. I just think it's silly to go downtown and you feel like. Okay, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna say it. You know, so there's three people who live in the mark. And if you remember how uh, the Fresh Fridays used to be right there on State Street? Yes. Right down there. Right Once there, a month, the first month, Friday. Until 10 music till 10 o'clock. That's it. Ordinance, right? Okay, the, the band out there, the stage shut up. It was a lot of fun. Everyone was having a good time, except for three people apparently in the mark who felt it was too noisy. So they complained enough to get it moved over. If you notice, it's, it's now not on state the, anymore on state, because yeah. it's been moved by the city. I'm really surprised that just a mere three people could move three that whole thing. Might have been four, but three ish. Still. Like even a handful, a small, of people who move downtown to the, the heart of downtown, where right in the you get some noise, you get some, you get some Gator Club coming up right. because you moved above it. Absolutely. You, know, you get some literally, Madison, literally above Gator Club. Literally right? above. Yeah, Club. exactly. You know, so I don't know. That just that just irks me, and I don't think. You know, I think that's messed harassed. up that that small and everybody else if it was the whole neighborhood that was freaking yeah. out but if it's just a couple of people and, and, and here's something that I do kind of do agree with like for instance uh, Melvin's I love Melvin's like they're on Main Street over there right. you know but they they do they bump until about two o'clock in the morning <laughs> you know with their, their they turn into a nightclub Friday and Saturdays again myself no problem with it but I, I can I'd be lying if I didn't say I didn't see the fact that right across the street 1350 Main they're here in this base, right. and they bought into it years before they decided to become, and they're technically not supposed to a restaurant, they're not a nightclub. So oh. to be able to then get boom, 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 until 3 o'clock in the morning, I can see people Those 13, people 50 being yeah, a little yeah, bit, yeah, I can yeah, see yeah. them being a bit. But it's a street party done by the city once a month, right. you know, on the other side of the So that, that part, I urge me. But I digress. I'm going to get off my <laughs> high horse right now. Yeah, we're gonna go back to you know important stuff yourself. Yes. So how long have you been doing this? I've been painting my whole life. I started school when I was seventeen, and um, 
went to art school for five years, mm -hmm. and it was like a Where really... Where was that? It was on Long Island. It was this okay. little tiny um, art school that had a giant name, but it was like an atelier where we just painted the figure and portrait for in oil paint. That was it. That was all you learned. Because my teacher felt that if you could do that, then you can do anything. So he's like, I'm not going to teach you how to do a tree. You can right. paint a tree. Yeah. If you could do the figure and a portrait, you can paint a tree. So is that the reason why a lot of your uh, figures are figures? Maybe. Do you do much inanimate objects? Not it's really. It's mostly right? people. Yeah, people. and I always complained. It's kind of funny because I always complained over the years how difficult portraits are, and I didn't want to do them, and I kept doing them. And every time I'd be like, oh, they're so hard, and it's so intense. But I used to paint them very realistic in oil. Like, everything was very realistic and serious when I lived in New York. And um, I don't know. I just never could get, break out of that school, schooling mind, that it had to be realistic, it had to be serious, it had to be intense. And then I moved down here about seven years ago, and all of a sudden with the bright colors, and the colors of the sky, and the flowers, and everything, I feel like the real me came out, and this, this style, and plus I paint in acrylic now, which I never painted in, and it just, it's very Florida-based, this look. So that's why when you say you feel like it represents Sarasota, that means so much because it's really stemmed from Florida. And I feel like it's, you know, finally, I've arrived. <laughs> found, found your niche. Well, it is like found day my and niche, night, yeah. right? It's probably like day and night going from there to here. And, and your colors are very, very, very vibrant. vibrant. So yeah. what did what, awesome. you paint in before? With like, Oil. Okay, so, so colorful, but just not... Not acrylic oils being a different yeah type of and you right? could paint um colorful and oil i didn't though i painted re very realistic my stuff was very realistic mm -hmm. and then towards the end it was getting a little bit looser brush strokes but still it didn't really go very far this i'm shocked that i'm doing this i mean i love it and it's really like amazing that it's turned out but i i love it it's like it's the real name, you know. Get away from that in New York, all that <laughs> intenseness. <laughs> so, online, can you can you buy your 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 art online as well, or is it, can you, you just have to exclusively come here to the bazaar to get what you? You can buy my art online, but I don't sell anything else, like the T-shirts and the woods and all that. That you'd have to come to the bazaar for. Nice. But the original you pieces here, you could buy online. Here. Yeah, no, but it's it's great. I love it. I'm, I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm trying. I'm trying to. Yeah, because I, I would love I have to get zero talent when it comes to. Well, that's why we're. I mean, that's why we're judging the, uh, the talent show. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and not in it. And not in um, it. Yeah, we're having a talent show. So we're organizing a talent show here. Oh, I love and, that. In October, yeah. And we got was it in October? October right? 20th. Yeah. So we're gonna do that, and it's like 15 people here. Everyone that goes on and does something, they get a shot, fireball shot. Probably you before know. they go on. And you know, oh and if God. you want, if you're eight years old, want to do it too, that's fine. You get a fireball shot. You gotta, your you parents got to sign away the waiver. You got to sign the waiver right? to make sure that you know when you're getting strong, you know it's not your fault. Um, oh, I love the like idea of a talent show. And, and just all the art. Now you, you did all this everywhere. here too. Like you did oh, all the right, the new stuff, the entrance. Right. Did, you do that on the did wall? you do this wall right here? Yeah, yeah. We just did this oh, wall. Did you do the following one on the following building on the back too? The Lime Girl. Yeah. You, yeah, over there in the parking lot. Did you do the one lot. across the way on the arts? That building right across the street to the no, right? No, they had a bunch of artists from Creative okay. Liberties did that one okay. over there. Okay. Yeah. In fact, my friend Tracy did a lot of work on that one. She's part of the Creative Liberties over there. So in the courtyard here is a new mural of Be Amazing, right? Yes. And um, just like a week or two ago, I think. Yes. And I wanted to get a picture um, in front of that before the show, but it was a little too late. And, and, and well, well, we'll, we'll other. have to come back. So, well, yeah, we'll, we'll, well, we'll take a picture we'll of we'll we'll Come yeah. this afternoon after everybody breaks down, maybe yeah. at 3 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. And Kim, I just want you to know that Kim got up on the ladder and did the circles that are way high up there. She right. she definitely was in it. Her and, um, hand and everything. Yeah. And another no vendor here, Lori Dickinson, who has uh, Rain Design Jewelry, she was also in the trenches the whole time painting away. So That's cool. we had a lot of, yeah, but Kim got up there. She's a, she's amazing. She's a Wonder Woman kind of person, that Kim. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, she's running a marathon so, in the fall. I mean, she's, I, 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 she's got us training with her. What? 
It's like insane. Yeah. <laughs> Kim, so we go out, we go out, we go, we know, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's like 2.1 miles. So we do the 2.1, and we Wednesday come back, morning. and Mark and I are like, yeah, right, have a nice day. And she's like, I'm going to do another loop, you know. And Scott's and then, more like, yeah, I'll join you. Sometimes I do the second loop with her, but then she's like, these are my slow days. You know, this yeah. four miles is not Because so the other days that she's not with us, she's doing 8, 10 miles. Yeah, you know, it's like insane. So ultimately, on those days, if they just pull, pull me behind in a little red wagon, <laughs> and I'll be fine. And I'll just sit back there and, you know. Contact my peeps. But she's motivation. <laughs> but she, she motivates she us to go do yeah. that. So that's what's yeah, motivates. Um, I just had a thought. Look, squirrel. I'm so angry. Hey. Um, and I don't know how long oh, she got. Uh, average uh, time frame to, to complete a work. Now, I guess that kind of is relative on what you're doing, though, right? It's kind of hard to say. Yeah. It is kind of hard to say because yeah. it depends on how big it is, so, how yeah, complicated. Well, what, what are you talking about? Doing a mural on the side of a building or doing a... <laughs> it varies a lot. Um, that would be cool. Let's say... Okay, another question. So let's say somebody would want a mural from you. Because I honestly think I know one or two that oh, probably would. Like downtown. Um, how would they go about doing that? Just straight up contact you? Just straight up contact me. I'm always around. You can okay. contact me through my website, which is karenchandlerfineart.com. Okay. Or send me... Um, a text or an email. Email uh, how Karen. Would email and let's get all that information. Yeah. Get all that on recording. Yep. Right, right. So my, my email is karenchandler118 at gmail.com. And should I give it my phone number? I don't know if you want to do that. No, no, no. I mean, yeah. You don't need to do that. You can Unless it's a You've got a website. Yeah. You've got a website. website. You've got an right. email address. Those are two ways they can Instagram. reach yeah. you to right. get some of your work. Right they can come here Thursday, Friday, or Saturday from Absolutely. 10 to 3 and see you in person. Totally. Right. Always here. The, yeah. very, the very first you artist. Instagram, did you mention that as well? Or oh, no? yes. I'm on Instagram. It's Karen Chandler Fine Art on there as well. There and Facebook. Yeah, I think it should be enough. I think Facebook, yep. I think they can find you. Yeah. C-H-A-N-D-L-E-R. Correct. So everybody should be able to find her. And very cool. Get some work. Very, very cool. God, I feel like two more questions and for some reason, for the life of me, I can't. <laughs> Uh, and so it happens when she hit that certain age. <laughs> that age, yes. <laughs> Whatever that age is. I know. It varies I know by person. You hit 35. But I, it happens all the time. Being a couple years older than you, I get it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so that would make you 95. <laughs> You're 93? I'm okay, I'll take that. <laughs> okay, so. And running miles a day, yeah, so yes, you should be right, proud right, of yourself. Right. Exactly. Yeah, try. It's more like, for me, it's more of getting up and just doing it as opposed to how fast. And where are you going? Where are you going, young lady? I'm always working, and I just got back from O-Town, so I'm so happy can, to be back. Can you come on this side so you can be part of our new technology? Oh, no. Check it, yeah, yeah. Like, like Christina, right like, want to check this out? Check this out. Look at this. Look, look, look what we do. Look what we do. Look at now. So Hi, everybody. Everybody. Yeah. But now Fabulous. we can switch now immediately. We, Karen. we switch to our Perfect. guest. That's better. And we're not Perfect. having you see any kind look of this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Cut out. Look at that. Oh, Ooh. caption. Ooh. Hi, everybody. <laughs> look at this. New it's toys. Our, our friend Christine. Look at this. We're going on the field. We're going to field. I have been on a business trip for a week, trip. and I've missed my soulful Sarasota. So I have just reconnected with another one of our mutual friends. And I'm like, right. hey, do you want to go to the beach? Because I'm missing my beach. I'm going there from here. Oh, you know, right, so you know where you're going to right, see there? So right we, after this, I'm going to head to the beach. We will see you there. You run the meetup. Lido at night. You're going at night time. Teresa's going to be there. Now? Well, she'll be there about 3 o'clock. I'm going to go there about one thirty. I should be there at one thirty. All right, so text me because I'll be there with our other people. 3 to midnight. The other blonde. 3 to midnight. Aaliyah? Yep. Okay. All right. Beach day with friends. Peace out. Peace out. Hi, Jen. Hi, Jen. Yeah, yeah. That's easy. Okay. Okay, well, uh, thank you, um, Karen, for, for coming on. And, thank you for uh, having so me. Much. You know, I really appreciate it. Appreciate Let's talk that. offline, please, about your art and how I would much, love to, yeah, anytime. My walls. Could and you just mural my place? Yeah, just mural I would be oh, happy to. Okay. Be happy to. All right, great. Just mural the entire place. All right, yeah. thank you Super so nice. Much. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Take care. Nice to meet you. Take care. Good to see you. All right. Okay. Wow. We're doing well today. We're getting some great 